At the average college graduate now is at, is is getting a job at sixty one thousand dollars a year. The average plumber after eighteen months sixty eight thousand dollars a year. Well, the sure, average but the welder plumber seventy two thousand dollars a year. With peers, the, the, well, the plumber didn't go to college. The plumber went to trade or technical school. There's eleven million job openings that do not require a college degree in this country. Well, who engineered million. the stuff plumbers use? I'm sorry, what? Who engineered the stuff plumbers use? I, I'm sure someone here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I'm going to be reacting to Charlie Kirk put Afghan college student in his place. Guys, we go straight into this. Yes. I'd like to disagree with you right, about uh, college as a scam. Okay. Just because there's 50% of people who you say don't need college to get a job, why would it be a scam? There's a social impact about college, about on America. College is, you know, good. The majority of kids that go to college when they graduate have a lower view of America than when they entered. Do you think that's a troubling thing? I think just changing your opinion doesn't really matter too much. Do you think that college teaches responsibility and hard work and... Sure. Yes. Okay. Well, I, I find that hard to believe. Why is it that employers are more and more not wanting to hire college graduates and they actually want to hire people that didn't go to college? What employers? Uh, you can name them out, man. Walmart just got rid of their, uh, even in their corporate level, so you don't need to go to college. Coke Industries, one of the largest employers in the country, from Georgia Pacific Railroad to uh, Dow Chemical. They said, we no longer want kids that have gone to college because Ooh. they end up causing problems because they're super entitled and they're like, oh, what are my pronouns? And they have all this like left-wing nonsense that they've been filled with. Well, then you have engineers, doctors, lawyers, people that Sure, we need that, but that's less than 20% of the people that go to college. Yeah, but college it, it'd be wrong to say college is a scam if 25% of people become great people you know lawyers doctors engineers that's not what really college currently is though again i i'm happy to have you read the book college is a scam i wrote it i can have a more wordy thing which is the vast majority of people that go to college are receiving a scam for the money that they're borrowing the vast majority that's of course there's exceptions you can make whatever you want with your life i mean you could but i mean when you enter into an enterprise yeah, you need to know that you are going to college let me, let, make let me more prove money this to you how many of you guys have to take classes that are a waste of time that you wish you wouldn't have to take every single hand you're being scammed against your will to take classes that make you go further into debt. Why can't you say, I don't want to take this class? Why are you as a, why is um, a customer you can can't you say- Can you do it? a differential equation? You what? Can you do a differential equation? Can I do can a- Can you explain me the anatomy of a human? Uh, like someone you off the top of my head? You know what psychology is. Yes, I do know what psychology is. Okay, can you Freud explain it to me? Do you want me to explain psychology? Well, you can't explain is, it if, to the depths of a bachelor's degree or a PhD. Well, hold on a, a second. Time out. I've sat here with no notes, no phone, and debated people with yeah, PhDs, masters. because you study this because it's your job. Hold on. I didn't go to college, man. That's the point, is you could do whatever you want without a college degree. Yes. You could listen to podcasts, read you, books. You don't need to Gauss go. Gauss wasn't able to go to the University of Gottingen. That's said, literally the uh, reason. I, I can't hear Gauss, what you said. What did you say? You know Gauss, right? Uh, Mathematician. Uh, yes, yeah, sh vaguely, sure. Okay. Vaguely. Yes, vaguely, yeah. Oh, do you know okay. who Milton Freeman is? Do you know who Herbert Marcuse is? Do you know who Thomas Sowell is? Do you use a phone? Do you know who Gouverneur Morris is? Well, that's because of Gauss. No, you don't. So I could do gotcha too. Like, so Euler before you try to went, get going off to your university ivory tower is the and understand reason that, that not became, he was able to become so proficient in mathematics so here, here's and the change thing. the world. The majority of kids that go Most to college that are get more a depressed than when they enter. degree are able Secondly, to perform much better in their field than someone who doesn't. Well, then, if that's the question, if that really is true, if well, college is this amazing accelerant, then why do so I many people... I wouldn't say it is accelerant, but if you're looking at a field of science, right? Let me finish, man. And you want to have accelerate you taken a that communication field of course, or have you not done you that yet? You need a degree. All right, okay, okay, let, let me let me fit, make my point. If that's the case, why do half of these kids end up with anywhere between fifty to one hundred thousand dollars in debt, and they end up getting a job that says, "Oh, sorry, you never needed the degree in the first place." Why is that the case? Tell me. Uh, people on average, once going to the college, make more money. Hold on, no, that's not true. They end up getting that, a job. That at, is. And the, that's only if they graduate in the, and it depends on the field of study. Do you know, the, a, the average college graduate now is, a, is, is getting a job at $61,000 a year. The average plumber after 18 months, $68,000 a year. Well, the sure, average but the welder, $72,000 a year. With peers, the, the, well, the plumber didn't go to college. The plumber went to trade or technical school. There's 11 million job openings that do not require a college degree in this country. Well, 11 who engineered million. the stuff plumbers use? I'm sorry, what? Who engineered the stuff plumbers use? 
I, I'm sure someone here. I mean, that it's it's well, like someone with a degree. It's like saying who designed college. the airplane for the pilot to fly. I mean, someone with a degree that went to college. I, 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 I was I, go to college. A, I, I think you're misunderstanding what I'm saying. I'm not saying you get rid of all places of higher learning. The way it's currently comprised for you guys, the amount of debt you have to go into, the classes well, you that say you have to take. Don't get rid of places of higher okay, learning. But then you go get, on to you're say you're interrupting every 15 scam. seconds. You're not debating in, in good faith because it is a scam. So let me ask you a question. Can you point to other things of American life the last hundred years that have been scams? For example, when someone they run an advertisement, they say buy these pills because you know we're going to make you super muscular, and they don't have all the fine print that it might not work, and you have to have a monthly subscription. We shut down that business for being That's a, a scam. That's a little different, though. That's a how product. is it different? Hold on a second. When you show up to college, do they tell you you have to take all these classes that you didn't sign up for? Yeah. Did they? Oh, they, they. It said that you're going to have to take all these different classes. Did they tell you that half of you guys would not ever use your degree when you go into your career? How many guys knew that? You guys knew that when you signed up? Yeah. Well, college you is that. what well, you make you of guys it, right? Are, you guys are willingly participating in the scam. Good for you. The point is this, is that most kids know deep down they're getting ripped off. The number one thing I hear from people across the country in corporate America, boy, college is a waste of time. Boy, I wish I never would have gone. Now I have $60,000 of debt, $70,000 in debt. I wanted to start a business, but now I don't have the credit to do it. Instead, we are wasting our most prized possession, our 18 to 22 year olds, to go stick them at many universities when they shouldn't be here in the first place. And it is a failed project. It is making us poorer. It is making, and by the way, just, just look at the actual numbers over a period of time. Has it worked? Is homeownership now going up for young college graduates? Well, how are we going to blame that on college, though? It's the There's no, a it's lot the, of different it, reasons it the that most people are not able applicable, to buy homes. It's the most equally applicable thing across the board for a generation. I say so. And, and it, it, if you look at the average, how much debt do you have to go to school, by the way? None. None? Okay, wow. Do you, are you on scholarship or? Yeah. Okay, so who's paying for your college then? Probably the federal government. Okay, so I'm paying for your college, is what you're saying. Uh, My taxes are paying for your college. So wait, do you have a, you're on grant or what? Uh, I'm not going to discuss my college finances. Well, no, this is really important. This is why you're so defensive of college. Yeah. This is why you're so forceful because you don't have to walk around the rest of your life with a hundred thousand dollars student I loan debt. I know plenty of people because, that have part-time jobs no, no, and go to this college. Ex this explains you perfectly. I, the taxpayer, when I write my check to the IRS, I'm subsidizing your ability to go to college. Okay. When and I, I think write that's a huge my mistake. check to the IRS, Cause, cause I also give money for people to go to college. You should have skin in the game. You should, and you don't right now. You are doing a freeloading thing. Of course you should be defensive I of college. I pay taxes. I pay federal taxes. Yeah, I, I pay state taxes. I, I, I'm well, sure I pay a little bit more than you, taxes, but that's a separate but issue. But the point is this. Is that's that probably true. I, do, do you, th you think you pay anywhere close to the tuition value you get at the school? Probably not. Yeah, probably I do. It's like 5000 a semester. It's a lot of money, but you get a lot out of Wait, that. Wait, hold on. How much is it to go to school here? It's around 5000 So in-state? In-state, yeah. Okay, five, did that include room and board and tuition? No. Okay, how much does, it, does that cost? Uh, room, board, tuition, all of it's around 11000 11000 a semester. So you pay $22,000 a year in taxes? Uh, no. Okay, got it. So you're, you're in a tax deficit, which means the U.S. taxpayer is subsidizing your education. That's fine. I'm not faulting you for it, but this is why you're so defensive, is you're detached from the price. You're detached from the cost. It's easy to be defensive of something you're not paying for. True. True. That's true, right? It makes sense because he understands, but I, I won't say college is scam, but what Charlie Kirk is saying is that if you check it, more than 60% of people who finish college don't use a degree. Like, I know of two people who are first class holders who are not using that degree. Like, she's a first class holder in business management and he's a first class holder in IT, and they're both not using that degree. And most times, bachelor degree is just rubbish. You need to have a master's for it to like have what? Your BSc is just trash. Everyone has a BSc now. So, yeah, like, I still find it hard that people expect college or university graduates with BSc to just have five years' experience at once. Like, so no one wants to employ you without experience. But like I say, you know, going to college actually makes sense because you can just go to the field, learn some more practical things. Go us out of college. I'm at level 300 now, and when I finish my BSc, I still have to go and find that working experience. I still have to work because what my lecturer told me he said when you leave school and you go to a company, it's more like you're learning everything from scratch. Like you're gonna be informed about some certain things, but like practical is different from theory. I that that's the honest truth. Like more like you're learning most things from scratch. And if when you when you are into practical, let's say I went four years to learning some construction basics and now four years later i might 
start taking houses to build myself because like I already understand everything I have to do. But now after my school, I have to go and learn. Let's say for extra two years for me to like be equipped so I don't crash on the video. But I tell you what you think about this video. Let's just like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.